This is Valamo, my Valamo locked hardcore Iron Man. My goal to obtain all the unique items in Valamo. No trading, no help, and one life. Honestly, guys, you think you can bully me into drinking from this fountain every episode just because a few comments got some likes? Shame on you guys. You should know better than to try- All right, bird bath roulette, what's it gonna be? Fantastic. That's just great. <laughs> Pet the dog. Let's get on our way. If you haven't seen the first episode, I recommend you check that out first. We made a ton of progress and now have our practically best in slot gear setup. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Anyway, we completed the Twilight's Promise quest, which not only gave us access to this Quetzal network to get us around Valamore so much quicker, but also the best prayer training method on Valamore. There is just one problem though. Ah, uh, I need... 30 prayer. Oh man. We are gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> oh boy. These poor giants, man. I've just taken their bones, burying them straight in the ground. No luxury of an altar, no XP boosts, just good old fashioned bones straight in the dirt. This is how prayer was meant to be trained. This is old school runescape in its purest form. But I have worked out that I am gonna need to kill about 800 hill giants for phase one of my prayer training. And notice how I say phase one, because that's just to get to 30 prayer. The bigger picture is to get to 43 prayer because over, ooh, nice. Overheads are gonna be absolutely, this guy's throwing me off now. Anyway, we're working towards 43 prayer. Let's get this XP. I have no idea what to use this on, but when in doubt, put it in herb lore. That's a rule no one can ever regret. 10 prayer coming in, huge gamer moment. You were all here to witness it. Hey, here's a little upgrade from our wooden shield. I'll take that, thank you very much. Honestly, considering hill giants are level 28, they drop so much useful stuff for me. The limp work roots are gonna be huge for herb lore training later on. Also some herbs here and there, but I think the best thing are the runes. And honestly, it's a small amount of runes. Every time I finish a trip here, I come away with this like little consolation prize, just like a handful of runes. And you know, one day we'll get around to using them. But anyway, this bone should be 20 prayer. I've been doing hill giants for a whole day, so just taking a break to start the next grind now. And that is gonna involve a lot of woodcutting. I mentioned it in my last video, but the first huge milestone on this account is gonna be completing the Perilous Moons quest and unlocking so much more of Valamore. Of course, the skill requirements pose a little bit of a hurdle, but a hurdle that we can get over. Admittedly, I did level 20 Hunter off island before even getting to Valamore, so we're gonna make up for that through plenty more forestry events. Of course, first things first, let's get 15 woodcut, get the forestry backpack. Okay, good news and bad news. Not really bad news. Anyway, good news, we can chop oak trees now and finally start spawning forestry events. The not so bad news is that I need to start editing what will be episode one for you guys. So any AFK time is gonna be spent getting my combat stats up as high as possible at Sand Crabs. Okay, there we go, 56 attack. I just wanted to get that level before finishing up, but I have been here for a couple of days now while editing. And look at these gains. That's 18 strength levels, 20 defense levels, and 16 attack levels. We have gone from a max hit of a 10 to a 13. But before I go back to carry on with the prayer grind and the hill giant massacre, I just got word that the man himself, Mika, 
is working on some forestry right now. So we're going to head over and join him to increase our chances of spawning a forestry event. You guys ever wonder what it's like to be cucked on RuneScape? You ever wonder what that experience looks like? Well, this is it. Mika's over there cutting and fletching oak logs. I can cut them, but I can't fletch them. And listen, I'm not all about advocating efficiency scape, but that just doesn't seem right to me. Something about that doesn't sit right. So I'm fletching normal logs and um, watching from a distance. Finally, 15 fletching. And a couple of hours later, there is 30 fletching. Now we wait and we hope for a fox event for hunter experience or a bee event for construction experience. Oh, the first bee event. Let's go, that's huge. Oh, wait, where's my construction XP? Hello, game? Construction XP? Wait a minute. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Guys, I admit it, okay? I fucked up. I haven't bought a player own house which means I can't get XP in construction through pretty much any means right now. That is such an amateur move. Okay, listen, mistakes were made. But there is an estate agent in Valamore. I've bought a player-owned house now. That has made a significant dent <laughs> in my cash stack. Oh, one day we're going to have to do something about the money situation. But for now... Let's get back to the prayer grind. I'm making a little pit stop at the Moss Giants on the west side of the island here for one reason. Shield upgrade, baby. The black square shield. This is actually our best in slot shield now. I mean, sure, I might be able to smith a better shield later on down the line, but at that point, I'm going to have double hitting weapons, I hope. And I don't think I'll have a need for a shield at that point. There are some really useful item spawns around here though. You've got some mind rune spawns, some elemental runes. There's a staff up here that I'm just gonna yoink. Thank you very much. I can't see myself training magic until after I've started the Perilous Moons quest because inside Cam to Rum, the little city within the mountain, there is a rune shop there and I'll just be able to buy as many runes as I need. So I'm not going to waste time hopping, trying to train on very limited supplies. I think we'll be saving magic for them. Giles, what do you want? That's a fish, my man. 640 coins. Thinks I'm charity. Ah, oh, man, I was scammed out of a level up message there, but there is 60 attack and I've gotten maybe four attack levels here at Hill Giants. Hey, and we're really getting somewhere with our stats now. The uh, the combat ones anyway. I mean, if you can ignore, you know, 90% of the other skills, we're, we're really getting somewhere. I am seriously terrible at remembering to do these farm runs. Here is a humble three farming. Huge. It's been a long time coming. And with this bone, 30 prayer and 75 combat. I love it when things just line up perfectly like that. That is just so satisfying. Phase two begins. Oh, did I, uh, did I not mention that we're going to need to kill another 600 hill giants for phase two? <laughs> I left that minor detail out. Here's how phase two runs. I get a full inventory of big bones from the hill giants, run them over to the Quetzal, take it up to the Teomat, bless them using the altar, which we can do now because we're 30 prayer. And this makes the bones all mushy because science, of course. And then you can chisel them down into bone shards. And these are the key. Okay, I am just shy of 5k bone shards and I need approximately 7.2k of these. Each big bone is 12 bone shards, if that helps give you guys any sort of indication of how long I've been doing this and that I'm not too far from finishing now. But more importantly, it's game update day. In today's news post, there were some big things discussed about Valmore Part 2 coming later this year. A low intensity herblore activity, group bossing, which is going to bring some new unique items. Really excited to see what they're going to be. The new Valmore agility course, which is going to be right here where this giant worm skeleton is. It is going to have a level 50 requirement. And considering my agility is currently level 1, I'm going to have to come up with some inventive, if not downright sadistic ways to train agility in the meantime because walking everywhere around Varnamore right now not fun the most important part of this update though is something that could improve the odds of this account completing some of the hardest content I'll have to face and that's implings yeah these little guys are going to give me access to items that I just wouldn't be able to get hold of 
any other way. And this is all thanks to the Puro Puro minigame. While this minigame is typically accessed through the crop circle in Xanaris, crop circles can also spawn in wheat fields around the whole of Gelenor. As of right now, unfortunately, they don't spawn in the wheat fields in Valamor. But Jagex have confirmed that this will be coming in a future update, which means I will be able to hunt some huge upgrades through legitimate access to this minigame. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself. One mistake or a disconnect against some of the stronger mobs soon to come and it could all be over. One step at a time. And that should be it. We are done with gathering bone shards. This is our final trip from the hill giants up to the altar. Honestly, the early crafting XP here isn't bad at all. I've gone from 1 to 16 crafting chipping these things down. And that's the last one. Okay, so for this prayer method, first, I need an inventory full of wines. I'm just going to buy these ones out at the pub. Back to the altar and bless these. We now have an inventory full of blessed wines, of course. And this is the libation bowl. Now, it's really as simple as just spam clicking this thing with blessed wine and bone shards in your inventory. Here we go. Levels, baby. Look at them rolling in. Unfortunately, this method does drain prayer, so occasionally we have to do a little walk over to this altar, recharge our prayer points, and go back. And here we go. 43 prayer. Man, those shards took so long to collect, but they just disappeared so quickly. That's crazy. Overhead prayers. That is a huge step forward for this account, and also 500 total level. Totally planned, of course. Not coincidental at all. Now we have 43 prayer and our protection prayers. Let's put them to good use. Wood cutting, baby. <laughs> it's time to get these perilous moon stats. 10 construction and also we'll be looking for fox events to make up for the hunter experience we got off island as well. Now this could take me hundreds of hours because I'm using an iron axe, chopping trees takes forever. We then have to wait for a forestry event to spawn. And even then there are nine different forestry events and we are only interested in doing two of them. Of course though, with most things in RuneScape, there is an alternative. Forestry events have a chance of spawning every time a tree is cut down. So here's the play. I'm going to use an alt account to start cutting this yew tree, then immediately hop to the next world, rinse and repeat through about 10 to 20 worlds. This gets the despawn timer ticking on the yew tree across those multiple worlds, and then I come back to the first world. On Valamo, I'm going to chop this normal tree right here, and then on my alt account, I'm going to immediately after cut this yew tree. Any, any day now, buddy? Anyway, when the tree eventually goes, there's a good chance that a forestry event will spawn. And if it doesn't, I just hop to the next world that I've already prepared and rinse and repeat. A shout out to the Valmore Zephy clan chat for passing this knowledge along because it is a game changer. I've gone from spawning three to four forestry events an hour to almost 20 which is crazy. This is our first Fox event and I wonder how much XP we'll get just from this one. Oh shit, that trap's not good, is it? Don't do it. 136 XP from that event. Oh man, that's actually so good. It might not seem like much, but it really is. Hey, the first B event. No way, so soon after the Fox one as well. Where's my construction XP? There it is. <laughs> it's just one XP every few logs or so, but that's better than nothing. Eight construction experience from my first event. It could take three or so hours for this, just my first construction level, but it should start to get a lot faster every level we get after that. We're in this for the long haul, guys. Ooh, the second B event. Oh, my RNG on these is already so good. I just have to hope it stays like this because we could get this first level today. I've taken a little break from forestry just to start chipping away at these thieving levels. Here is 20. Ooh, a prison beat event. Nice. You're welcome. What's it going to be? Nice. Oh, prison peat with the lamp. Oh, the things I could put this into. 10 XP. Worth it. 23 hunter. No time to waste XP, but super happy with that level. Some huge gains so far today. Only 15 XP from two construction. We got a couple of hunter levels and we even hit 50 woodcut. Oh, it's a good day to be a Valamore locked account. Ladies and gents, two construction. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's only the first level, but it's the biggest hurdle. I'm just going to finish up this event, then go back to do some thieving. I'm jumping between the two activities at the moment so I don't completely lose my sanity, but <laughs> no guarantees. Thirty thieving. Just 20 levels until we unlock the best money maker for a while, but I still don't really feel a huge need for money. So I think getting the construction levels is the priority. And yeah, I just hope that with some good RNG, it'll only take another day or two. It's finally here. 10 construction. Oh man, that level just makes me so happy to look at. To know I don't have to do this anymore, but also to know that that is possibly the hardest requirement for Perilous Moons complete. Did I go slightly insane at points? Y yes, yeah, okay, full disclosure, I did. But I also got 25 Hunter, so Forestry spawning is officially complete. Here are the stats at the end of this episode. We've made some huge progress, some big goals completed, and now we set our sights on 48 Slayer. How we're gonna do that though? Well, you'll just have to wait for next time. If you guys have enjoyed this one, support me by dropping a like on the video and subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss any future episodes. I'll see you all real soon. <laughs>